Patriots, welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Bonnie Gosain. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2021. Let's go to Aiden to see what's happening today in history. Thank you, Vani. Today in history on March 15th, 1985, Symbolics.com became the first website to be registered and set the dot-com dot revolution off with a whimper. Symbolics.com is a domain just like Google.com. However, it is older than Google by over 18 years. It was not the do first domain created, however. That's how it goes to Nordu.net, created almost three months before Symbolics.com. Now let's go to Chris for the sports highlight. Thank you, Aiden. Today's sports highlights are presented to you by the Patriots. One man changed the high jump forever. The day of the Olympic event was on October 20th, 1968. All was normal until a gangly 21-year-old civil engineering student changed the way of the high jump forever. His name was Dick Fosbury, and he created the Fosbury Flop. It may seem normal to your eyes now, but in 1968, it was revolutionary. The Fosbury flop is where a jumper arches his or her back so their center of gravity can stay below the bar, even as the body sailed over it. Now let's go to Aunt Alicia to see what's for lunch. Thank you, Chris. Today's lunch is popcorn chicken, baked beans, sunsplash veggie juice, applesauce, barbecue sauce, and milk. Bon appetit. Now let's get back to Sonia for our National Week segment. Thank you, Aunt Alicia. Good morning, Patriots. This week is National Button Week. This week brings recognition to the little wonders that keep our clothes intact. Buttons are very useful and great for not only clothes, but for collecting as well. Due to the plethora of colors and variety of shapes and sizes, they typically draw attention from collectors. Did you know that the oldest button discovered was made of a carved shell over 5,000 years ago? Buttons have been around for a long time and don't seem to be going anywhere. Have a nice little button week. Now let's go back to Bonnie. Thank you, Sonia. Scholars, March Madness is over, and we have our winner. Again, you all did an amazing job, and we are proud of you. And now let's reveal the winning teacher. The winner of the iReady March Madness Challenge is... <laughs> Patriots, be sure to congratulate her and her students when you see them in the hallway today. Patriots, join us this Wednesday, March 17th from 4 p.m. through 9 p.m. at MOD Pizza. This is our next family night fundraiser. Scan the QR code to RSVP and be sure to show the RSVP page at the register to mention or mention the fundraiser. So they will donate a portion of your purchase to support our school. Let's get together and have some good pizza for a great cause. And Patriots, St. Patrick's Day Grams are here. Get yours today before they sell out. Only two more days to buy. You can show ones someone that you care by sending them a St. Patrick's Day gram. Get one of these awesome gift packages for only $3 and $5. Put a smile on somebody's face today. Grams will be delivered to your friends on Wednesday, March 17th, and the last day to buy them is tomorrow, Tuesday, March 16th. Get your friend a bracelet and they will never get pinched on St. Patrick's Day again. Also, Patriots, this Wednesday is our virtual next read aloud. How to Catch a Leprechaun will air this Wednesday, March 17th at 8 a.m. You can view it on RPTV YouTube channel. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with David. Thank you, Vani. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 82 degrees Fahrenheit and poly cloud. Looks like the sun is starting to shine. Now let's go sum up for the joke of the day. Thank you, David. And here's today's joke of the day. What do you get when you put a vest on an alligator? An investigator. Now let's get a song for today's birthday. Thank you, Samuel. Great joke. Today's birthday boys and girls are Lily Alicia, Isabella Rodriguez, Cheyenne Dominguez, and Caleb Salmon. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Vonnie. Thank you, Solomon. Patriots, don't forget your Pat's expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, 
act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Santi Stebon, Ms. E.M. Dinkwa, Ms. Escher, Ms. Cara, Ms. Cavalita, Ms. Yearwood, Ms. Barrow, Ms. Gilbert, Ms. Drag, Ms. Clergy, Ms. Stone, Ms. Kane, Ms. Blanco, Ms. Melholm, Ms. Julian, Ms. Hendrickson, Ms. Freeman, Ms. Samuel, Ms. Anaya, and Ms. Mraz. You had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was, you can see me in water, but I never get wet. What am I? The correct answer to the riddle was a reflection. Now for today's riddle, I can be long or I can be short. I can be grown but and I can be bumped. I can be painted or left bare. I can be round or I can be square. What am I? Again, I can be long or I can be short. I can be grown and I can be bumped. I can be painted or I can be left bare. I can be round or square. What am I? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced the following day. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday. And don't forget, remember, reunite, rise. Have a great day!